The Honda Pilot started out life in 2003 as an awkward, shy crossover. It was really the first unibody mainstream crossover, and since then, many vehicles like the Pathfinder and Explorer have switched over from body on frame to a unibody. So now it's in its third iteration. Past pilots have proven to be pretty much bulletproof. Of course, they have the Honda logo behind it, so that means it's going to be reliable, it's going to have great resale value, it's going to be dependable. But pilot owners wanted more. They wanted something sexy. They wanted something that even though during the day you may be hauling kids around and making your Costco runs at night, it's date night and you want something that you can live with, something that you're proud to show up uh, with at the valet. And that's what we have here. It's, it's bigger, it's bolder, has more power, and it's sure to put the segment on notice. Under the hood of the 2016 Pilot is a newer version of the 3.5 liter V6 direct injected engine. That engine has proven to be a very solid one, but what they've done is added 30 horsepower. So now it went up from 250 to 280, about a 12% increase. At the same time, they have also reduced almost 300 pounds, depending on the trim level, out of the weight. So power to weight ratio is actually best in class. With that, you're gonna get better acceleration and better overall driving dynamics. Also new for 2016 is the nine speed automatic transmission. The bottom trim levels still get the six speed automatic, while the top two trim levels get the nine speed automatic. With the nine speed automatic, you also get paddle shifters. From a styling perspective, we have all new sheet metal. The hood is now aluminum, again, saving some uh, weight. You also have new stylish uh, DRLs or day running lights, and the same design has been carried over to the rear LEDs. So uh, a lot of things to make this thing distinguishing during the day and even at nighttime. Another new feature on the 2016 Pilot is the first ever panoramic sunroof only available on the top Elite model. By the way, that Elite model is also a new trim level. Before, the Touring was the top level. Now you have the Elite model, which pretty much has every option imaginable. Dimensionally, the Pilot is three and a half inches longer than the outgoing model. The roof line has been lowered by an inch, but overall interior volume remains the same. Also new for 2016 are the first ever 20 inch wheels on a Pilot. This is available on the top trim levels only. Our drive route for the 2016 Honda Pilot took us through some country roads, a lot, of, a lot of turns, a lot of twists in the morning and in the afternoon we were primarily on highways. And honestly those country roads were not the most favorable for this big heavy SUV, a lot of body roll. but. They're all the same. Explorer, I think it handles better than Explorer, drives better than Explorer, but overall none of those vehicles are really meant for those kind of roads. Uh, most people are going to be driving on straight roads like we're on right now, and this is an ideal vehicle for that. It's ideal for city driving, it has a great seating position, very comfortable uh, seats. Uh, both my co-driver and I have found that uh, no matter where we sat in this vehicle, even in the third row, it was relatively comfortable uh, compared to the rest of the segment. But where the real magic happens, I think, is in this interior. My God, have they enhanced it. If you compare this to the outgoing Pilot, it's night and day. Starting with the instrument cluster, you have analog gauges for the tack, engine temperature, and fuel, and then you have a digital speedometer and a 4.2 inch information screen, uh, multicolor information screen that is extremely high definition. You also have an 8 inch capacitive touch uh, infotainment system and it again has uh, really uh, moved the needle from where everything was in the segment. Um, overall just love the whole center stack. You also have, you have a new uh, push button transmission. Uh, this is the same one they use in vehicles like the ILX and it's nice that they've carried it over into the Honda models. Uh, great job because it just clears up all this space. You have more room for drinks and 
iPads and whatever else you need. You have a massive storage unit in the center as well. But uh, getting back to the driving, which, which is important. It's not a critical determining factor for most people, but it is important. And it's a lovely driving vehicle great visibility and that visibility helps with safety and safety is second to none they have so many safety features i can't even list them all but uh, they demonstrated some of those for us today at the track uh, i mean this vehicle will come to a complete stop if you're not paying attention if you drop your coffee uh, so a lot of great safety technology you have lane watch on the bottom systems but you have a whole blind spot monitoring system for the upper trims uh, but uh, they didn't give us pricing today, but we anticipate it's going to start around $30,000 and it's going to top out near fifty dollars for an Elite with all-wheel drive. Now, the all-wheel drive system, that is something exciting to talk about. They gave us a demonstration where they put this vehicle through mud and it got stuck because it was in normal all-wheel drive mode. Then we switched it to mud and it was amazing. When you switch it to mud, it goes through this algorithm where it doesn't just apply constant power, it's constantly shifting back and forth to get just the right amount of traction, and boom, we got out of the mud. So very impressive technology from Honda. I know other vehicles have it. Ford has this, you know, the multi-terrain system um, that, you know, very similar to this one, but they've never had it before, and now they do. So if you're in those kind of conditions, sand, snow, or mud, you may want to get this vehicle, especially with all-wheel drive. You definitely feel the added power and uh, the reduced weight of this uh, Pilot. It's uh, it's great on straight roads. It's it's good on turns too. But again, this is not a this is not an NSX. This is a Pilot. It's a seven or eight passenger vehicle. The reason I say it's a seven passenger vehicle because. On the Elite model, you get the captain's chairs, so you're only going to have uh, two seats in the second row. Speaking of the second row, you, now you have better access to the third row thanks to the push of a button. This button, which also illuminates at nighttime, basically you just push it and the seat comes up, goes as far forward, providing maximum access uh, to get into the third row. Even though overall cargo capacity and passenger capacity has not increased they've managed it better and so you do have more leg room because they've added uh, about an inch and a half to the wheelbase and just overall more space in the vehicle uh, so it, it does feel more spacious even though technically it's not the nine-speed automatic transmission was much better than we expected it shifted you know rather quickly much better shifting in sport mode but uh, overall uh, they did a good job with it. You only get about one mile per gallon improvement with the nine speed over the six speed. So that was a little bit disappointing. And so I got my cruise set to 60 miles an hour and I'm in ninth gear. I'm, I'm pushing about 1500 RPMs. That's pretty impressive and that's how they're getting better fuel economy. But I still think that there's more fuel economy to be had in the pilot. The 2016 Pilot is available in five trim levels. The base model is an LX, followed by the EX. Then the EXL and Touring, those two models should account for about 70% of Pilot sales. And the all-new top-of-the-line Elite model. Just went over those train tracks, wanted to give you kind of an idea of what it sounds like in here. And as you can tell, it's very quiet. This is a very refined vehicle. The quality of materials has increased tremendously. Uh, everything about this vehicle uh, feels like they put a lot of resources into it, and they have. You know, Honda is expecting to come away with some hardware at the end of the year for SUV of the year with this Pilot, and it wouldn't surprise me if they did come home with some. At the very least, they should be finalists in a couple of the major categories. We think a typical EXL with front-wheel drive, which is enough for most people, will definitely be in the high 30s. And if you move up to touring, you're looking at the kind of low to mid 40s. Once you get up to the elite, you're really uh, you're really pushing kind of that premium segment, perhaps challenging more 
premium vehicles like the Infiniti QX60 and Buick Enclave. Well, our first drive with the 2016 Honda Pilot has come to an end. Had a glorious day in Kentucky and wrapping it up here on the shores of the Ohio River. Overall, love this vehicle. I think Honda did a tremendous job and uh, overall the segment just has great options. I think Honda has stated its case for why you should buy the Pilot over others, but looking past all the features, uh, the power to weight ratio, the fuel economy, etc. Uh, I think it's this right here. It's that Honda badge. This is a company that has been in the U.S. now for about 50 years. They have proven to themselves over and over again to millions of consumers that they are one of the premium brands. Uh, they stand behind their product and the Pilot is one of their best products on the market today.